Hi, I'm Alex from FLTV, and today we have some great stories. To open our broadcast, a story from my co-anchor, Roxy? Hi, I'm Roxy from FLTV. Today, we're going around campus to see if students are going to the book fair, are interested in the book fair, and what they'll be buying. Let's go. The book fair is a twice a year occurring event that takes place in the library. It starts on November 6th and ends the 10th. They don't just sell books, they also sell posters, bookmarks, erasers, and other things. Have you ever gone to the book fair in the past? No, this is my first one. Yes? No. How long have you been doing the book fair? Over 18 years. Are you planning on going this year? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. No. On average, how many kids come? Well, the whole middle school comes with their English classes, so over 800 kids, plus some high school kids just show up. So it's close to 900 to 1,000. What are you going to buy? Probably going to see if I can get any more Warrior Cat books for my series. Probably like old fashion books. Wow. What's this year's theme? The Wild West, and it's going to be dynamite. Wow, that sounds great. I'm Roxy from FLTV. Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm here with FLTV. Many students plan to attend high school here at Faith. High school offers many possibilities in their different academies, including the STEM Academy, Film and Broadcast, Justice and Advocacy, and the Business Academy. We will ask the 8th graders who will be attending high school which academy they will join next year and why. What academy are you going to join? Uh, I want to join the STEM Academy. The Conservatory. Why? Because I want to pursue a career in engineering. Because I like doing musical theater and shows. Do you think that this academy will help you in your future career? Yeah, I think it will look good on a college application. Yes, I think it will look really good on applications for colleges for like art schools and musical theater schools. So all of the different academies offer students opportunities to explore passions that they have in a specific area. So if you're interested in one of the academies, I would go to the website and on the website you can see what the minimum entrance requirements are. And so that's what you want to be looking at. The academy that has the greatest number of students is the STEM Academy. Joining one of the many academies is a great way to get a head start in your future career while making it look good and professional on your resume for your future colleges and careers. One of the academies throughout Faith is Film and Broadcast Academy. Here, students learn how to 3D animate, direct and produce films, and they learn about the art of filmmaking. At the Business and Entrepreneurship Academy, students are involved with the DECA State, National, and International Business Competition. Joining an academy is a great way to prepare for your future career. It offers many possibilities for students' future and helps them find their path. Thanks, Kevin. School is going great, and we have more information on that topic. Ivy? Hi, I'm Ivy D with FLTV. The first quarter is finally over. We went around asking students and teachers how they thought it went for them. But this is what they said. Uh, good, because I got good teachers, and they're nice. It just went over a First quarter went well for me. Um, it went well because I got to meet all my new teachers and I got to meet some new friends. I think the first quarter went well because I got all my work in and I got pretty good grades. What was your favorite memory about the first quarter and why? Um, I was fighting over candy, my lunch table and I. My favorite part about first quarter is that I got to meet some new friends. Favorite memory of the first quarter? I'd say the funnest time was probably uh, Foster dunking on Ty. In the first quarter, students are getting used to their classes, teachers, and their grade in general. They are constantly working diligently, but they are not the only ones working hard. Teachers also put in a lot of effort to put grades in, make lesson plans, and also to make learning fun for the kids. Do you think the second quarter will be harder and why? Much harder because the teachers will be harder and I don't think they will like my jokes. I think second quarter will be harder because we're used to our schedule now and it's going to get more intense. Now you know how some of our teachers and students first quarter went. I'm Ivy D with FLTV. Hi, I'm Trinity from FLTV. Do you think you have too much homework or do you think your homework situation is just out of control? Let's go around school asking kids about their homework situation. Do you think you have too much homework? Yes. Um, yes. On average, do you think kids have too much homework? Um, I can only speak for my class and what I assign. Um, 
I usually will just assign homework to students. It's, it's something that they need to finish. Middle school through high school students spend an hour and a half to two hours on homework each night. Now we know most students think they have too much homework, but let's find out if they think homework is necessary. No, I don't think it's necessary. Why? Because um, we do a lot of classwork in school. Yes, because it helps you with your classwork. Do you think homework is necessary? I think homework is important to help reinforce skills that have been taught in the classroom. On average, how long do you do homework every night? Um, it takes me about like 40 minutes. Homework as a kid. I don't remember having a lot of homework as a kid. I guess I was just lucky. Um, about two hours. There you have it. Most kids think they have too much homework, but know it's necessary for their education. My name is Taylor from FLTV, and today I'm going to be interviewing students about what their electives are and what they think of them. There are several electives to choose from at Faith. Here are some clips of students participating in their electives. What are your chosen electives for this year? My chosen electives are dance, drama, art, and explore music. Um, guitar and PE. What are your thoughts on your elective classes? I just think that they're awesome, my teachers, and they're just fun to be with. What are your thoughts on your electives? They're fun because there's no homework and I get to learn new things. Why did you choose the electives you have? I chose the electives that I have because I love music, art, and dance a lot. Because I play guitar and praise band. What is your favorite elective? My favorite elective is art because I love to draw and paint. Guitar. If you were a student here at Faith, which electives would you have chosen this year? Probably yearbook or broadcasting. This looks like a lot of fun, girls. It's with a U. There seems to be a lot of elective choices to choose from here at Faith. I'm Taylor, signing off. Hi, I'm Mackenzie from FLTV, and today we will be going around talking about the service event. Every year, each advisory goes somewhere to help serve in the Las Vegas community. This year, this event will be taking place on November 17th. Today, we are going to go around and ask the students where their advisory is planning to go this year. Where is your advisory going this year? We're going to a ranch. We're going to an organization called In 12 Days that helps people um, who have recently lost parents. Why are you serving people? Um, we're going to help them because it's the mission of Jesus. So it's a, it's a Christ-centered thing to do. Uh, the Bible tells us that, that we should be serv have servant hearts. Are you happy about this place? And if so, why or why not? Um, yes, because I suggested it and I really want to work with people and animals. Yeah, I've been there the past three years uh, with Mr. Pullman's advisory, and, and we have a really good time. All the students drive out in the Las Vegas community. You can donate any items to the donation box in the Shield parking lot. Anything will help. You will get papers from your teachers soon with more information about where you're going and how you're going to help out. Make sure while doing the service event, you're on your best behavior as you'll be representing Faith Lutheran. Back to you in the studio. Here at Faith Lutheran, we have the unique method of student-led chapel, where students do everything from music to skits. Today, we're going to go around school interviewing some of these leaders about how they feel about it. As an option, 7th and 8th graders can take applied Christianity for their theology class. They read chapels, do worship, and work together with praise band to worship Jesus in a fun way. These classes are taught by Miss Wiltsey, and replacing Miss Craft this year is Mr. Penley. Why did you join Applied? I joined Applied because I wanted to spread the good news. Um, I joined Applied so I could worship God and uh, teach people about Him. What are the requirements for Applied? Uh, you have to you have to write like a fill out a questionnaire, and you have to go to church. Um, you need to fill out forms and get teacher requirements. Um, you have to go to church pretty much every Saturday or Sunday, and. Uh, you should be uh, very loving of him. Would you recommend apply to others and why? Yes, because it's super fun uh, to do skits. Yes, I would recommend it to others because it's fun. And I would recommend it because it's a lot of fun. What made you want to teach applied Christianity? Um, it's just kind of a natural thing. So before I was a teacher here at Faith, 
I worked as a youth pastor, like in churches kind of all over the United States. And that's something that I got to do a lot of was leading worship and doing that kind of thing. So, yeah. And what's your favorite part about teaching applied? Um, absolutely the kids. So the kids come up with amazing ideas and they love God so much. And they just really want to, uh, to share him with all of our middle school. After learning about this class, I hope you'll consider taking this opportunity to worship God and lead chapel in front of your fellow students. What amazing stories. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for FLTV. I'm Roxy. And I'm Alex. God, God bless. bless.